Hey, hello everyone. My name is Sagar Pichapati and this video will be talking about one of the most important hack of the data bricks and we can say key vault. Cool. So in this video, we'll be seeing how we can retrieve or how we can see the secrets of the key vault, see secrets present in the key vault using a data bricks or we can say with the help of data bricks language. Right. So let's see how we can do. So see. I have created one key vault. Cool. So this is my key vault. And if I go back to here in secrets option, you can see I have created one secret that is user ID. And the thing is like, you know, I have uh, the value stored in the key vault, which is secured, right? So if I show you the value also, it is something like this. And now sometimes, you know, we create uh, we create a mount point or we create something in Databricks and we do not have access to read the secrets. Some, sometimes, you know, we need to, we need to read the secrets. We need to know what is the value present in the, uh, what's present in the key vault. So how we can do that actually here. So for that, what I have done, I have already created a secret, uh, a scope, I can say a scope I have already created in this uh, workspace with the ha with name geek coders hyphen hyphen secrets. Okay, so see first first we will we will see how we can get the secret name. So we'll write here dbutils dot secrets not secrets I believe secret. Okay, we'll see it secrets dot get and here we have to pass a scope okay the scope is this and here we need to pass the second parameter would be your secret name okay so my secret name is user id right so if i just run this then we'll see what will happen okay it is running okay it is running okay now you can see it printed the data. Now you 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 might have you know uh, got this idea like how I can how I can you know get the get the value then. So there is a small hack. What instead writing this or you know instead uh, instead you know uh, uh, making or assigning the value of this into this variable user ID and if I print here like if I do print print of this variable then we'll see what we will get so just run this and again just run this then you can easily see that you know we have the same value now what i'm gonna do copy the same thing cool write for i in db utils print i again it will not print like, like it is printing but you know I need to have this in one line so I'll use here and sorry yeah now you can see we have the value right so this is a hack I mean you should not do this this thing in your production environment and uh, like this is a hack maybe you know Microsoft team will or Databricks team will fix this issue uh, in near future and yeah I hope like you have understood the video and please do subscribe and share my channel and uh, you know watch all the videos of Databricks playlist and you can also watch it out uh, as your uh, ADF uh, playlist also and in this month I am gonna share one one in one end to end project with you guys and uh, you know the the, the the fees would be around 1000 INR and that will be around you know uh, like four to five hours of content and there I will be solving one problem and having you know a full full concept like you know from analysis to the development and deployment also like I will, uh, that, like I will cover the deployment part also there so till then uh, be safe be happy thank you